Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing straight lines and this is the lecture number 14. I hope you have already watched part 1 to 13 before watching part 14. And in this lecture, we were going to learn something um, new. That is how to find the equation of line passing through the point of intersection of two lines. So, let me discuss this uh, equation of line. Equation of line passing through the point of intersection of two lines passing through point of intersection of two lines point of intersection of two lines of two lines say l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 is l1 plus k l2 is equal to 0 remember this where k is any constant, k is any constant. It means the equation of first line with the equation of second line and k times equation of second line. So if there are two lines like this, it is represent the family of lines, right now. So that will represent the family of lines. So we are learning basically family of lines. Right, the topic is family of lines. There are two lines. Say this is L1 is equal to 0 and that is L2 is equal to 0. L2, L is equal for line. There are two different equations. There can be infinite lines which will pass through it. Right now, there can be how many lines can pass through it? This line can pass through it. Right? This line can pass through it even. Right now. So, there will be infinite lines which can pass through it and these are some lines I have written here. So, they are said to be family of lines. So, all these lines pass through it, the point of intersection of two lines, they will form family of lines. And so, the topic is family of lines. Right? So, this is first one. So, equation of line passing through the point of intersection of two lines, L1 is equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0, that can be written as L1 plus K L2 is equal to 0. That means first line plus K times of second line is equal to 0. That is the equation, right? Also, there are second type of family is that equation of line which we have already discussed but let me remind you. The second type of equation is a line parallel to another line. So, if there is a line, then parallel line of that can have infinite lines. If there is a line, this is a line. So, there can be uh, another lines also, which are parallel to this. So, if uh, these are the lines, say, like this is, like uh, this is, these are so many lines can be there and all of them can be parallel, right now. So, there can be another line also, another line also like this. So, there can be infinite number of lines which are parallel to them. If ax plus by plus c, say this equation of line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, then all these lines are parallel to it, right? Huh? So, second point is that an equation of line, equation of lines, Parallel to parallel to ax plus by plus c ax plus by plus c is equal to zero ax plus by plus c is ax plus by plus k is equal to zero right huh? so remember this one also this is also very important one some only constant will change nothing else will change right so here only constant will change got it only constant will change but nothing else will change now the third type is equation of line perpendicular to third one is equation of line equation of line perpendicular to the lines to the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is bx minus ay plus k is equal to 0 where k is any constant where k is any constant 
right now. That was also the other case in Austria. So how to deal with this? There can be also a line which are suppose this is a line, right? And there can be uh, a number of lines perpendicular to it. Say uh, there is a line perpendicular to it can be like this one line that is this. There can be another line. There can be another line perpendicular to it, right now. So that is also possible. This is what there is another line that is also possible, and a number of lines are there uh, which are possible. So we can have equations of for all these. Uh, if they are forming a similar character is there, and therefore they are uh, family of lines because all of them has same character. So if this one is a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero, if the equation of this line is a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero, right? Now. So the equation of in that case, if the equation is this, then equation of all these lines will have b x minus a y plus k is equal to zero. For different value of k, there will be different lines. I hope you got it. For different value of k, there will be different lines. Isn't it? So there will be different lines, but all of them have the same character because they are uh, follow the common characteristics, and therefore they form a family. So I hope you got it. So this will be used whenever uh, it is required. Let us start with the very first question uh, from the exercise and. What is that? The question is here. Question number twelve. And what is that question number twelve? Find the equation of line. Find the equation of line. Equation of line passing through the point of intersection of passing through the point of intersection of point of intersection of intersection of the lines lines 4x plus 7y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 2x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 that has equal intercept on x axis that has equal intercepts intercepts on axis on axis right so we have to calculate this equation of line passing through the point of intersection of these two so solution can be written like the equation of line equation of line passing through passing through intersection of the point of intersection of lines, point of intersection of lines, intersection of lines L1 is equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0 is, you know, L1 plus k times of L2 is equal to 0, right now. So here equation will be, therefore equation of line will be, equation of line is, what? 4x plus 7y minus 3 plus k times of second line is 2x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. That further can be written as 4 plus 2k into x plus 7 minus 3k into y minus 3 plus k is equal to 0. Right now. Now, since uh, their intercepts are equal, equal intercepts, so what, what we can write here? That we can write this 4 plus, this was 4 plus 2k into x, 4 plus 2k into x plus, what was that? 7 minus 3k into y, 7 minus 3k into y is equal to, that was, uh, k minus 3, k minus 3, isn't it, k minus 3 this side, 
because that was 3 minus k. So it will be k minus 3, and that will be 3 minus k opposite side. So it will be on the opposite side 3 minus k. Right now, 3 minus k. 3 will be positive opposite side and 3 will be k will be negative. Now we can have this x upon 3 minus k and this can divide this side also 4 plus 2k. Isn't it? Similarly, y upon 3 minus k whole divided by 7 minus 3k. These are x intercepts and y intercept respectively comparing with this. If you compare this, comparing with uh, x by a plus y by b is equal to 1, x intercepts are this and y intercept is this. According to question, x intercept is equal to y intercept. x intercepts and y intercepts is, are equal. y intercept are equal. So, this employee 3 minus k upon 4 plus 2k is equal to 3 minus k upon 7 minus 3k that can be 3 minus k times of 7 minus 3k is equal to 3 minus k times of what 4 plus 2k so we can write here further 3 minus k can be taken common and what is left 7 minus 3k minus 4 and minus 2k is equal to 0. So that will be either 3 minus k into uh, 7 minus 4 is 3 minus and minus 3k minus 2k is minus 5k is equal to 0. And therefore k can be therefore k can be either 3 or k can be therefore k can be either 3 or k is equal to k is equal to 3 by 5 and therefore equation of line will be when k is equal to 3 the equation of line is equation of line will be what if I put here value of k is 3 then 3 to just 6 4 plus 6 is 10 10x isn't it equation of line will be 10x plus 3 then 7, 3 3 is a 9 7 minus 9 is minus 2 minus 2y then uh, this line would be 10x minus 2y and if you put k is equal to 3 then right side would be 0 this is the first and when k is equal to 3 by 5 the equation of line will be equation of line is what 3 by 5 so if you put here 3 by 5 that will be 3 by 5 that is 6 by 5 and 5 4 is 20 so 20 plus 6 26 by 5 x so that will be 26 by 5 x right if i put k is equal to 3 by 5 then 3 3 is 9 9 by 5 7 5 is 35 minus 9 is 26 26 by 5 y 26 by 5 y again so that is 26 by 5 y I hope you got it. Okay, and now if 3 minus 3 by 5, then this would be 5, 3 to 15. 15 minus 3 is 12 by 5. Right now? So that will be 12 by 5. RHS will be 12 by 5. So that can be cancelled by 2 and 5 also. So if you cancel by 2, that will be 3x, 13x plus 13y is equal to 6 this is the second equation. So these are the two equations which will be answer of this question. 13x plus 13y is equal to 6. These, will, these are the two equations and that will be answers. So lines are therefore lines are lines are can be lines can be uh, y is equal to that can be also written as y is equal to 5x, y is equal to 5x and 13x plus 13y is equal to 6. These are the two lines. I hope you got it. Okay. Because this can be written as, okay, let me write this. This can be written as y is equal to 5x. 
right y and x so these are the two lines so this one was very good questions with uh, great concepts so you must remember all these three uh, types of equations that will be present family of lines now let us solve some other questions and the question is here question number 13 find the equation of line find the equation of line equation of line passing through origin passing through origin and making an angle theta making an angle theta with line with line y is equal to mx plus c basically we have to show that that answer will be y by x equation of line if you do not write here find then we can write here the equation of line the equation of line th what y by x is equal to m plus minus tan theta divided by 1 minus plus m tan theta this is what you have to say now uh, we know that the equation of line can be determined by this is a line and that line is say y is equal to mx plus c this line is y is equal to mx plus c any other line is there uh, which will make an angle of theta with this will have equation this line makes an angle theta so here is a line and that makes an angle theta with this line you have to calculate it and since it passes through origin somewhere origin is there right now so this is the line equation of line which we have to calculate so theta is an angle so clearly slope of this line is m so we can start from solutions of uh, doing it the slope of this line we do not know so say m1 of the slope of this line so here tan theta is equal to m2 minus m1 m1 minus m upon 1 plus m m1 this is what so if you remove this modulus sign opposite side there will be plus minus m m1 minus m plus 1 plus m m1 is equal to plus minus tan theta now we can calculate it m1 what is that here uh, m1 minus m is equal to 1 this is a plus minus here m1 minus m upon 1 plus m1 m2 that is m m1 is equal to plus minus tan theta right so we can write here uh, this employee m1 minus m is equal to plus minus tan theta and plus minus m m1 tan theta now we have to calculate the value of m1 so this can be written this side m1 plus minus will come this side it would be minus plus m m1 tan theta is equal to this m will come this side it would be m plus minus tan theta right so if i took here common like uh, m1 then 1 minus plus m tan theta is equal to m plus minus tan theta right and therefore m1 is equal to m plus minus tan theta divided by 1 minus plus m tan theta this is the slope i hope you got it this is the slope now equation of line passing through origin therefore equation of line equation of line passing through origin passing through origin uh, 0 0 with slope m1 slope m1 is nothing else but y minus y1 that is m1 x minus x1 that is 0 and here this will be y is equal to therefore this is y is equal to m1 is m plus minus tan theta upon 1 minus plus m tan theta x minus 0 
and therefore y by x is equal to m plus minus tan theta upon 1 minus plus m tan theta. This is the proof. proof of this. I hope you got it. Okay. Now uh, let us solve some other question and the question is 14. So question number 14 is there and 14 question is in what ratio in what ratio the line joining the line joining minus 1 1 and 5 7 5 7 is divided by the line is divided by the line is divided by the line x plus y is equal to 4 x plus y is equal to 4 this is what the question so in what ratio the line joining this and this is divided by another line so we can have a line through this say this is the line and it passes through two points that is one is here here say 1 minus 1 1 and another point is 5 comma 7 this will be right so two points now this third line x plus y is equal to 4 divides this line is divided by this line this is the second line that is x plus y is equal to 4 at this point p and the ratio is 1 is to k suppose let's divide this line in ratio 1 is to k so in what ratio the line joining this and this is divided by the line in ratio line segment it should be but uh, in fact there is a line so no need here 1 into k so coordinate of p can be obtained solution since let x plus y is equal to 4 divides the line segment joining divides the line segment segment joining joining a minus 1 1 and b 5 7 in ratio ratio k is to 1 say not 1 is to k but k is to 1 like right here k is to 1 so they call at p at p right now so the coordinate at p so the coordinate of p is therefore coordinate of p is coordinate of p is given by what k into 5 5k plus 1 into minus 1 divided by k plus 1 and 7k plus 1 divided by k plus 1. Since p lies on x plus y is equal to 4 also and therefore it will satisfy since p lies since p lies on line x plus y is equal to 4 also and satisfy it and satisfy it satisfy it and therefore 5k minus 1 upon k plus 1 plus 7k plus 1 upon k plus 1 is equal to 4 this employee 5k plus 7k is 12k and minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled because LCM is k plus 1 k plus 1 that is equal to 4k plus 4 and this employee k is equal to 1 by 2. So putting the value of k you will get the point of interest 1 is to 2 so required ratio is so ratio is what because 8k is equal to 4 so k is equal to 1 by 2 so ratio is 1 is to 2 and positive sign shows that they will divide internally right now so ratio is 1 is to 2 k is to 1 is 1 is to 2 that is the answer of this question now uh, 
let us solve some other question and here is a question question number 15 it is given that find the distance distance find the distance of line of line 4x plus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0 4x plus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0 from the point from the point from the point 1 comma 2 along the line along the line 2x minus y is equal to 0 so we have to find the distance but not a perpendicular distance we have to find the distance of point say this one is a line let me find this first one suppose 4x plus 3y is a line and this is a line 4x plus 3y let me write like this this is a line that is 4x plus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0 and you have to find the distance of this from point 1 to p is here that is point 1 comma 2 is a point and we have to find the distance of this line from here right now we have to calculate the distance and there is another line for which is 2x minus y there is another line say like this right and this line is 2x minus y this line is 2x minus y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 2x right so we have to calculate the distance of p from this line in the direction of this one right now we have to calculate the distance of p from this line in direction of p only that you have to calculate this value p to say this is a parallel to this say this is a point this is a point q so we have to calculate pq not a perpendicular distance but this that distance in this direction so a line along this along means parallel so any line parallel to this will be y is equal to 2x plus k and since it passed through slope will be same now so here slope of line is 2 here slope of m1 is equal to 2 this line is also parallel so here also slope of this line is 2 isn't it so these two have same slope and slope is same passing through 1 2 so we can find the equation of pq equation of line along 2x minus y is equal to 0 and passing through and passing through through 1 comma 2 is is y minus y1 that is 2 the slope is 2 x minus x so the equation of line pq therefore y is equal to 2x and this will be minus 2 minus 2 that will be 0 so this point lies same on this line it means same and therefore 1 and 2 lies on the same line therefore 1 comma 2 is lies on the same line it is not different line line y is equal to 2x that is the same p is here only right now but if it was not there then you can calculate like this we don't know whether there lies on it so p is 1 comma lies on the same line now we have to solve them so to get point of intersection q to get point of intersection solving these two now solving Solving y is equal to 2x and 4x plus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0, we have, we get, four x plus 7, y is equal to 2x, so 7 to the 14x plus 5 is equal to 0, 14 plus 4 is 18x is equal to minus 5 and therefore x is equal to minus 5 by 18 
And since y is equal to 2x, and therefore y is equal to 2x, that is 2 into minus 5 by 18, that is minus 5 by 9. So, coordinate of q, therefore, coordinate of q, coordinate of q, that is point of intersection will be minus 5 by 18 and minus 5 by 9. Now, using distance formula, distance of pq is, therefore, distance of pq, distance of pq, pq is given by distance formula. And what is that? P is 0 0.1,2, so 1x2 minus x1 whole square, so 1 minus minus 5 by 18, 5 by 18 whole square plus 2 minus minus 5 by 9 whole square. And that will come here, that will come in like, let me write here, that will be nothing else but 18 plus 5 is 23 by 18, 23 by 18 whole square plus 9 to 18 plus 5 23 by 9 whole square so it will be uh, 5 29 23 can be taken out because it is a square and 1 by 18 square plus 1 by 9 square so 9 square can be also taken common so what will be that 9 into 2 1 by 2 square will be left and here 1 is left so it will be 23 by 9 this is 1 plus 4, 1 by 4 plus 1 is 5, under root 5 by 2, right now, so that will come, I hope you got it, so this will be the answer, that 23 root 5 by 18 is answer, unit will be answered, I hope you got it, so wherever it is written that find the distance along the line, then you can't use the perpendicular distance from point to the line, right? Try to understand this. This is a very unique question and important one also. So revise them and uh, do practice again and again of all these questions. These are a very important one. Till then, bye-bye. See you in the next class.